Wnomics, or how George Bush can single-handedly send the world financial market into a tailspin with one press conference. On Thursday, Interestingly enough, um, the global economy is strong. Friday, Central banks across the world are trying to stop concerns about the American subprime mortgage sector turning into a global financial crisis. Share indexes have fallen sharply as the domino effect has taken hold. Thursday. And the fundamentals of our economy are strong. Friday. As New York opened for trading, shares as predicted followed the heavy losses seen in East Asia and the European market. Thursday. Another factor one that's got to look at is the amount of liquidity in the system. Is there enough liquidity to enable markets to be able to correct? And I am told there is enough liquidity in the system to enable markets to correct. Friday. The American Federal Reserve has announced it's adding $19 billion of temporary reserves to the banking system and said it would provide liquidity as and when it's needed. Earlier, Japan's central bank injected more than $8 billion into the money markets, while the European Central Bank put in another $83.5 billion today, on top of yesterday's record $130 billion. Their aim is to stop a credit crunch. And during Thursday's press conference, George Bush gave us this little tidbit of information. I'm wise enough uh, to remind you that I'm not an economist. <laughs> But what, you play one on TV? What the f